It's Monterey Car Week and I've been spending the last few days looking at super expensive luxury cars and high-end exotics. And deep down, all I've wanted to do is drive one. Well, my wishes have been granted and here I am in a brand new Lamborghini Huracan LP610 Spider. The Lamborghini Huracan is the most affordable and accessible vehicle in the Lamborghini lineup, starting at around $200,000. But this all-wheel drive, drop-top version costs around $287,000. While base models are rear-wheel drive and feature 580 horsepower, this all-wheel drive version comes with 610 ponies, all from this 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10. The best part about having a spider though is that you get to hear this beautiful engine that's mounted right behind you every single time you punch the throttle. And every time you push this big V10 engine, you get a serious amount of speed. 60 miles per hour comes in just over 3 seconds and the top speed of this car is around 201 miles per hour. Helping this car achieve those impressive figures is a quick shifting 7 speed dual clutch transmission that is absolutely fantastic. Another important factor in this car's speed is the use of low weight materials like aluminum and carbon fiber. It weighs at just around 3400 pounds, which is actually kind of light when you think about the big V10 engine right over here. That weight is split. 4357 front to back, meaning that this car does feel a little light in the front. Let's talk about how this car looks. Those 20 inch wheels are standard equipment on this Lamborghini Huracan and thank you Lamborghini for not gouging your customers for fancy wheels. But aerodynamics are a huge part of this vehicle. There's a ton of downforce. There's about 50% more downforce in this Huracan Spider than the car's predecessor, the Gallardo Spider. One of the big benefits to this car's impressive aerodynamics is the reduction of wind noise, which is a huge advantage in a drop top like this. And let's talk about that top, which can retract in about 17 seconds. And it looks so cool doing that, just like a transformer, right? When it comes to the interior of this car, this Lamborghini seems to be borrowing a few ideas from its friends over at Audi. This fully digital gauge cluster is pretty, but doesn't seem far off from what we've seen in the Audi R8. But where this car differs greatly from its German friends is with the interior materials and design. The interior is this neat red and black two-tone setup which I absolutely love. And these seats, which are racing inspired, aren't exactly soft. They're actually quite stiff and not very plush. But still, this car was the perfect introduction for me when it comes to the world of high-end exotics. And you better believe, moving forward, I'm going to try to get my hands on every single crazy car I can. 